Hi, so I'm gonna show you how to install um, NixOS on a cheap Etzner uh, cloud server and then uh, how to, to install Funquel, the music server, on, uh, on, the, on this uh, NixOS uh, system. You can follow uh, this uh, instruction on this page. Okay, so the first thing we, we have to do is to install the the Nix uh, package uh, manager with this command uh, so you have to log out and log in again for the installation to complete Okay, now we have uh, we we clone this repository. Uh, yes. We go to zero. New directory, and now we can execute Nix shell because we have just installed it. Uh, for me, it's very fast. Uh, when you do it the first time, it will be much uh, slower because it, it has to 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 download a lot of uh, packages. Here we install the NixOps um, tool uh, which uh, we will use uh, to deploy our, uh, our server. Okay. And now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna create um, A server on Etzner, so you can uh, create a free account if you don't have one, and then you log in to the cloud page. Here you can create a new project if you want. Uh, I'm just gonna use the default one, and I add a server. Here you can keep the the default choices uh, with. Uh, a small, um, a small uh, Ubuntu and uh, the three euro uh, uh, by month uh, plan, and you create and buy. Okay, the server has been created. That was fast, and you receive uh, your um, your password. So now you can click on it and we're gonna mount an, an image, the, an XOS image here. I will click on mount. Okay, that's done. And now we're gonna connect uh, to the to our server with uh, with SSH. So we're gonna need our password. But okay, so this is the IP. Can do SSH. Would. Oh. I've already had a, a server, so okay. 
yes and he uh, asked for our password which is that and we are connected and yeah it asks us uh, to change uh, this password so you you type again uh, password and you choose another one uh. we can exit and we are gonna copy our public ssh key to the server chain so um, uh, first make sure you have a public key it is located on your uh, home directory in this directory if you do not have one you can uh, create uh, one with the command uh, ssh keygen and uh, to copy it to the server you do ssh copy id uh, put And like you can you you type the password you just set okay now we should be able to to connect with that password yes okay now we go again to the Edsner console. Um, now, before we reboot, and uh, because we have mounted the NixOS uh, image, we will start on this on this image. But we can SSH from our. Uh, uh, console emulator, we must uh, go here and you see the NixOS image is booting Okay, and we we are like so. It's a QWERTY keyboard. So if like me you have a French uh, keyboard, you can uh, load load keys here. And now I've got an Isaac keyboard. Okay. Um, we're gonna copy our public key. So for that, we must uh, first mount the hard. Okay, copy uh, it should be here and we copy it uh, here. Okay, this is our public uh, SSH key. We can unmount
Yes. And now we follow um, the NixOS installation uh, documentation. It's uh, it's here, but uh, I have uh, copied uh, the instruction here. So we use the command parted. Make your primary from one to all the hard drive minus uh, two gigabyte for the swap uh, partition. And the swap partition. Wait. Okay. Now we initialize partitions. Yes. Okay. And we mount uh, the NixOS uh, files. We generate the co default configuration. And we copy our public key to the configuration. And now we can edit this configuration. Okay. Uh, so you need to uncomment this line for the boot to happen. You can uh, also change the default keyboard. Uh, oh. Yeah, I choose FR, FR, okay, uh, your time zone, Enable SSH. Um, and an SSH for SSH, we're gonna use that. So, unfortunately, we can't copy and paste, but uh, so network.
we go SSH server and we allow our public SSH key. So we've copied this key here, so we cut and paste. We save and quit. And now we can do nixos install. No, there was an error. A network. Network. Networking. And now we wait for the installation to to process it. Download uh, one gigabyte of packages. Okay, now it asks us for um, a new password for root, so you can enter. Uh, so the installation is finished. Before rebooting, uh, we must unmount the ISO image here. Yes, and now we can reboot. Oh, yes, that happens. Uh, maybe we gonna. Uh, we will we will use the, the administration page to to reset uh, to reset uh, the server. So okay, I think that's okay. Our server is booting. We should be able to connect. Of course, this is not the same uh, configuration. Yes. And yes, we are connected. We have a working uh, NixOS uh, server. Uh, we don't need this console anymore. And now, uh, what we gonna do is uh, install uh, Funquel Music Server. So exit. We are in uh, Funquel Nix OS. You, you go to deploy. Head 
Metzner. Uh, deploy, deploy. Physical. Metzner. And we copy the configuration from the server to this directory. So, let's set There's two files, configuration and hardware configuration. Okay. Now in configuration, so we have uh, Cable, everything, repairs. Um, you can remove uh, this line uh, because it is uh, it's already in um, the main uh, configuration file. And now we edit physical Nixos. That's not to put. Uh, we we must put our um, IP address. Yeah. And. Uh, we must also edit the main configuration file. Um, so uh, this was the, the line uh, I talked about. Uh, We, you can put uh, your um, the domain name uh, you choose for your server. So me, it's um, spring fair, and you can change the uh, Django secret key using this command. So you copy I think that's all we we have to do. Yes. And now you create the, the deployment file with Nixops. Okay. Um, and you deploy it. Okay, uh, I already had a deployment, so I'm gonna destroy it and recreate it. Now you see, I have two two deployment name Funquel. Oh. I'm gonna just I'm create another one with a another name and now I deploy with this name. Okay. 
Uh, oh yes, we had the time zone also duplicated in the two files. So I'm gonna edit it, deploy physical funk listener configuration time zone. We don't need it here. No, it's working. Okay, that's done. Now we should be able to go to our server yes this is our Franklin instance okay you see there's nobody so um, we need to create a user and for this can use this command. Um, in fact, it will execute on our server the, the, this command. Huh. And of course. I've named my deployment function to yes. Um, okay. I've created the user. Now I can connect. Connect. Yes, I'm connected. And now I can add music. I think it's okay and now it's working and that's it thank you for watching